Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to discuss general physical examination pertaining to a child with respiratory distress. It needs to be done in a systematic manner so as not to miss important findings and the best is to examine in a head to toe direction starting from the hair of the head. Begin by looking at the hair for its color, texture, distribution, easy pluckability, flag sign, patches of hair loss etc. Make note of head shape and size. There may be evidence of rickets in skull examination like large fontanel, box shaped skull etc. At the level of eyes, evaluate the child for pallor, icterus and periorbital puffiness. And now evaluate the upper airway, the nose, the oral cavity and the ears. Look for purulent ear or no nose discharge. Look for glossitis, stomatitis, angular colitis, oral ulcers, dental count and dental hygiene. Examine for raised JVP. Now let us look at the position of the trachea. The trachea is normally either centrally placed or slightly deviated towards the right. Look for cyanosis. It could be central or peripheral. Peripheral cyanosis may be present in a normal healthy newborn, which may be seen only on the extremities. The central cyanosis, on the other hand, should be seen on tongue and conjunctiva. Now, examine the regional lymph nodes, the supraclavicular node, infraclavicular nodes, posterior and anterior cervical lymph nodes, the submandibular nodes, the submental nodes. the axillary nodes. BCG scar should be looked for. In India, it is conventionally given on the left deltoid region, but in some countries, it is given on the right side. Look for clubbing. Features of multivitamin deficiency should be specifically looked at, including rickets, now, this is rachitic rosary and this is wrist widening. Additionally, it is always good to make note of the posture of the child, any cannula, catheter or tube that is there. And this may affect your examination also. In general physical examination, make note of any conspicuous finding. If it belongs to a particular system, you may present the details in the systemic examination. These findings may initially seem unrelated but a complete evaluation may suggest a connection with a respiratory diagnosis. Let us have a look at some of these examples. This is telangiectasia of the conjunctiva. It suggests the diagnosis of ataxia telangiectasia in a child with chronic respiratory failure. This is situs inversus and this will suggest a diagnosis of primary ciliary dyskinesia in a child with bronchiectasis. In a child with strider, presence of hemangioma in the bared area of the face will suggest airway hemangioma. Thank you so much for watching.